Hi everyone. Hello, uh, welcome to This Time Tomorrow. My name is Doreen and I am a pharmacist at QEQM Hospital in Margate. And I'm Stephen Flower, we are the Flowers, um, and I'm the hub manager at Canterbury Baptist Church. Uh, Ezra Flower, our little one is upstairs at the moment. Napping? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what will you be doing this time tomorrow? Uh, so for me, I'll be, I would have just done my building walk around, uh, just checking up on if there's any holes or leaks anywhere uh, that we don't really know about. Um, doing the fire alarm test and um, yeah, just getting things like the boilers ready uh, for the week, make sure it's warm enough. Uh, and I'll be checking emails from over the weekend. Uh, uploading the sermon that you're about to hear uh, and just generally continuing to try and get lets back. Um, obviously it's been difficult at the moment um, with uh, the restrictions but yeah hopefully we've got lots more yeah lots more wanting to come back uh, as soon as they can. Uh, yeah and just yeah be planning the day with, with Lee, with Andrew, um, planning our, our week. Uh, yeah, how about you? What will you be doing this time tomorrow? So tomorrow I've got a day off, which is lovely. So I'll be spending the day with Ezra. Um, we'll probably go this time tomorrow. We'll probably have finished breakfast and planning to go to the park. Uh, if it ends up raining, we'll just stay in and do a bit of reading. So question three: How does God use you on your front line? Um. Well, I'd like to think that at the church I'm a fairly important cog in our church machine, um, keeping things running uh, behind the scenes and in front sometimes. Um, uh, I'd like to think I'm helping us all to stay connected at this time, uh, making sure the update goes out, emails about what we're up to, uh, letters to those who uh, perhaps can't watch things like this, um, and then keeping the website uh, events and sermons up to date and hopefully a directory coming to you shortly um, and then uh, on the building side I'd like to think there's a, a legacy that I can leave um, Brian has always talked about uh, yeah making sure we're, we're leaving something better for the, the people after us than, than how we found our building um, so hopefully that's something I can do is to, to leave uh, leave the building in a good state and ready uh, for the next generation to um, to go on and, and use it all the more to glorify God. Um, and then the the real front line I've got is with Let's. Uh, so at the moment, keeping in contact uh, and just letting them know that we're there and we're ready uh, when we're allowed to see them again. Um, and then when they're here, just making sure they know it's it's there's something different about um, about CBC. It's not just a community hall. It's um, it's a place where Jesus is, um, and hopefully we can make sure they know that that's that's what's different about us. Uh, and we can witness to that uh, when people are here. Um, yeah. That's that. How about you? How does God use you on your front line? So at home, um, God uses me as a wife, uh, as uh, Stephen's what accountable partner, to make sure that we um, stay in the Word and that we um, pray for our loved ones, our friends, our um, in the world. Uh, and as a mother, He uses me to be able to um, use the wisdom that uh, we get from the Word to be able to. Um, um disciple Ezra as he grows uh, and so that he can grow to serve and love um, our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and at work um, God has certainly used me to be able to serve uh, my patients he's given me the skills and the knowledge to be able to do that and um, for my colleagues I've been able to pray for them um, it's been very anxious times and it's just being there for my colleagues and um, reassuring them and um, yeah keeping them in my prayers that's that's been really really uh, important mm. so then the the last question for you is um, 
what encouragement can you offer to the church at this time? Um, so what has been encouraging me uh, this past year um, as we've gone through some very tough times, um, one of the verses that uh, comes to mind is Colossians 1 verse 16 when uh, Paul says all things were created through and for Jesus Christ whether it, uh, invisible, uh, visible, thrones, dominions, powers, authorities, all things were made through him and for him. So he is the head of all things, he is above all things. Um, and this just helped, helped me to reassure me that each and everything, all the trials and tribulations that we're going through, that God will be glorified in all these things. Mm. Um, that um, everything that we do, everything that we say, that we should be saying it um, to give glory to God. Mm. So mm. that has certainly humbled me as I've been thinking about going to work and being in my home. Um, just um, how set apart we are, how we are part of God's creation, how we are part of his plan. Mm. So. Every time I feel anxious, this is what I go back to, that I am part of it, that creation. I am part of that plan and he has a purpose for my life. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I suppose the other thing uh, we want to say about um, that's that's been an encouragement for us during this these whole sort of six or so months um, is just to remember that God is sovereign. Um, that he's in control so like if times are hard uh, if you've got loved ones right now who are ill through covid or other things uh, or who've died if you've lost your job or if people you know people you know have lost businesses you know if you felt depression or loneliness or anxiety all of that has got part of god's plan um it's not it's not where god has lost control but that is god in control he's molding us using us preparing us for his work um, and we we might not see the end game um, you know we might not see the point of all that hardship but we just have to remember that he does um, that we're not God ultimately um, and that if you are fearing that sort of hardship right now um, certainly when we have felt that this year we've we've rested on knowing that uh, like Paul says in the letter to the Romans, that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Um, nothing. Not losing a loved one to COVID or losing your own life to COVID or the, the depression or anxiety or anything else. Um, nothing can keep us from the love of God. Um, nothing in this world is more powerful than Jesus' death, death and resurrection. He's done the work already and he's preparing a place for you in his kingdom. Um, ultimately he reigns supreme so hold on to Christ's supremacy um, it's his patience and justice and faithfulness his word is providence it's all constant uh, same to uh, today as it was yesterday same tomorrow as it will be today um, he reigns supreme in the first century he's reigning supreme in the 21st and he'll be reigning supreme in the 31st wherever that may be um, so yeah, we just hope that that may comfort you as well, that if times are dark, just know that God is in control and he's using this uh, for his purposes. Um, yep. Yeah, so that's that's it from us. Yeah. Um, we've got, we can hear we've got a toddler who's just woken up, so we'll, we'll go deal with him now and, uh, and have some dinner. Um, but yeah, God bless you all uh, and be with you. And yeah, we can't wait to see you all again uh, very soon, hopefully.